Okay, there's a lot of people asking right now, should I sell my house right now? Is this the right time? Should I wait? Well, if you're trying to time the market, historically, you're not gonna win that battle. Most people are not able to time the market. The most important thing I think for you to do right now is to focus on your family's needs, your needs. What do you need to do? The market's gonna be the same on both sides. So if you sell your home, Chances are whatever you're gonna buy is gonna be in the same position you were in when you sold. And the same happens when it's a seller's market. The You sell high, you have to buy high. So the main thing that you wanna worry about right now is, is it a good time for me to sell? And we're gonna go into some of the reasons why you should or shouldn't list your house for sale right now. We're gonna get into some topics like, is this a housing bubble? Is the housing bubble going to pop anytime soon? Will the housing market heat up anytime soon? Is it gonna get back into where it was before? What demographics of people actually bought houses last year? What's the kind of people, what age group uh, of people bought houses in 2021? We're gonna get into the supply and demand of current housing market right now. And we're also gonna get into some of the special home loan programs that are available to keep your interest rate down for a temporary amount of time. If you could like and subscribe to our channel, we get into topics like this all the time. We get into real estate issues. We get into topics based on the housing market. We get into home improvement stuff. We get into things that have to do with home ownership. So if you're interested in any of those things and you like what you see in this video, please like and subscribe. We're gonna update the videos and put out new content constantly every week. Otherwise, let's get into it. Let's get into whether or not you should list your house for sale in a heavy buyer's market like we're experiencing right now. So let's talk about the housing bubble issue. I think that's the biggest thing that everyone talks about. That hot button word that everyone likes to say is housing bubble, housing bubble. Is this a housing bubble? Well, I'm gonna tell you why I don't think it is a housing bubble. And I'm gonna start off by telling you that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not someone just trying to give you advice on whether or not you should spend your hard earned money on a house, whether you should sell your house or reinvest in another property. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to give you the facts on what's going on in the market right now, and then you can make your own assessment on what you wanna do in the market. So as far as the housing bubble goes, I don't think this is a bubble, especially in the Treasure Valley area. And the reason why, the reason why the property value skyrocketed here was not because the interest rates were low. People are moving here because they aren't happy with where they're coming from. And that is not gonna change anytime soon. So a lot of people think that this is a bubble, especially in this area, because the property values went up so much in the last five years. But in my estimation, in my opinion, I don't think that's gonna change. Every market is fluctuating right now because of the interest rates. If the interest rates went back down tomorrow, the demand would skyrocket and the values would go past where they were just six, eight months ago when the market was at its peak. This is not going to change anytime soon. Buying a house in this area is not a bubble and it is not gonna pop. The reason why the housing bubble happened in 2007, 2006, 7, 8, all that area, was because of all the bad loans that were being written in the early to mid 2000s. Loan officers and mortgage people real estate agents were putting people in houses that were not in their price range. They were not able to afford it. They were doing stated loans. They were bundling these bad paper loans into bonds and they were rating them as A plus paper, which was basically telling investors that were buying them that everything in there was good, everything was vetted. These people are A plus credit. They have excellent documentation. Uh, and so what happened was they were told that they were getting one thing, it ended up being another. The bottom fell out, all the bonds fell apart. Uh, and the products basically went to nothing, which caused everything to fall apart, foreclosures went through the roof. That's not what's going on right now. The mortgage industry is extremely regulated right now. There is no loans being written that are uh, terrible loans with people that work at Subway buying $800,000 houses like there was back in 2006, 2007. That being said, the same reason why things crashed in 2008 is not gonna be a reason why it will crash now and it's not gonna crash because of that reason. So will the housing market heat up again? I think it will. And the reason why is because as soon as the interest rates level off or 
if people end up being really frustrated with where they're at because more things start happening in those areas like California, Washington, Oregon, those three states I think have the most influx from there into Idaho into our Treasure Valley area than anywhere else. And the reason why is just the policies and those policies are not changing. They're only getting worse. If you were a betting person, I would bet definitely that things are gonna continue to get worse there. I hope they don't, but if they do, and it seems like they are, they're gonna continue to wanna move in. Now the rental market in Idaho is going nuts. So the price of rental properties, the availability of rentals is becoming extremely scarce. So buying a house is gonna be beneficial in a few different ways. One, it's gonna secure your family has somewhere to live. And two, it's gonna save you some money. If you can get a mortgage payment for at or below what it would cost to rent, which is pretty much the trend at this point, you're gonna be better off, even if you're paying a higher interest rate, you're better off paying a mortgage payment where some of the money's going towards the property value versus just throwing it all the way in a rental payment every month, which is what a lot of people are doing right now. They're opting for that option. The volume of homes that are for sale is going up. The time that houses are on the market right now is longer. So if you are looking to sell your house right now and list it, I think you're gonna have to expect that you're gonna have to do a few price drops. You're gonna wanna be very strategic with how you price your home. You're gonna wanna get with a realtor like myself and you're gonna want to discuss trying to stay in front of the price curve. You don't wanna be above the price curve. You don't wanna be at a point where you're 20 grand above, hoping that someone's gonna make an offer. Meanwhile, there are 70 properties in the area that are similar to yours, that are all priced 20, 30 grand below. By the time you realize to make the price drop, it's already gonna be lower again because the values are dropping slightly. That's just something that's gonna happen naturally. That's just the natural curve of where the market's going right now. So if you get with a good qualified realtor, we can help you out and get you uh, the right comps and the right information from a CMA that's gonna give you the information, the data to make the proper analysis for where you should price your home at. Okay, so the demographics of who bought houses in 2021, this may seem like a detail that's not that big of a deal, but actually it's kind of interesting. So the majority of people that bought homes in 2021 were actually people that were probably in their 20s to early 40s, so Gen X and Millennials. So these people were getting in, either getting in their first home or maybe their second or third home, that kind of thing. So a lot of people were moving around and making that commitment and buying houses that are in their Gen X and millennial um, age group. So that's something just to keep in mind. That's some interesting data just as far as who's buying houses and who's gonna be your market people that you're gonna wanna cater to if you're trying to sell your house because those same people are still trying to buy houses right now. Okay, so another thing that you can do as a seller to try to draw attention to your property, not only the price, but getting strategic with how you market your property as far as using incentives. So everybody knows that sellers can offer the buyer incentives like, hey, I'm gonna pay five grand towards your closing costs or 10,000 or whatever it is that you wanna do. These are things that you can advertise to make your house stand out above the rest of the properties. If you offer to give someone a credit, but you market that credit as a credit to lower their interest rate, for instance, the one thing that people are the most concerned about, and to be honest with you, most buyers don't understand how loans work. Uh, they don't understand this. They let the loan officer, whoever they're dealing with, kind of handle all that stuff. Most people do not understand this. Um, I worked with loans for about 10 years before I started doing real estate. And the one thing that I learned is the vast majority of people that I spoke to that were signing on the dotted line on a contract had no idea how a simple interest loan worked, how any of these loan programs worked, how amortization worked. So getting with a loan officer that knows what they're doing and kind of asking the questions and saying, hey, you know, what kind of programs do you have? What can I offer my buyers that's gonna make them incentivize? What kind of programs do you guys offer right now? Right now they have cool programs like they're, you know, everyone knows what an ARM is, an adjustable rate mortgage. But they have cool programs like a 321, for instance. So the first year, the interest rate's lowered by 3%. The second year, it's lowered by 2 And then the next year, it's lowered by 1 And then it goes back to the rate of whatever it was when you signed on the dotted line. What this does is it gives somebody a lower cost of entry into the house. It gives someone an ability to slowly ramp up their payment. And hopefully, everyone's hoping that the interest rates will come back down by the third year and then they can refinance and they can get into something a lot lower. They also have five-year programs where you can buy down the rate for five years and then after that it adjusts to 2% within whatever the current rate is at the time. There's all sorts of cool programs out there. So these programs are always changing. They're always being modified. So it's important to be up to date on what exactly is being offered when you list your house. But these are things that I would recommend on top of just fixing up your house and all that kind of stuff. I would 
would recommend looking into some programs, getting with a loan person, figuring out what banks are what. This is important because you're marketing your property to prospective buyers. You wanna make this thing look as attractive as possible. And that's what I try to tell my customers whenever we're listing a house. We need to try to make this house stand out from all the rest. And that's probably the most important takeaway from this video, if you could take away one thing. Try to make your house look the most appealing. When you're looking at it on a slate of 50 properties, let's say, you want your property to stand out from all the rest, both looks wise, and you want to offer something that no one else is offering and that's going to be something like an incentive so in any case those are some of the things that i wanted to go over as far as if you should sell your property right now how you should market it and some of the reasons why this market's not going to pop into nothing so i uh, hope you enjoyed this video hopefully it's educational for you if you can like and subscribe that really helps us out otherwise we'll see you on the next video and have a great day and good luck in the real estate market mm -hmm.